Hey, this is Amarika Olivo, and whenever I'm not being terrorized in the movies, such as Friday the 13th or Circle or terrorizing others, like in Bitch Slap, I'm avoiding dirty old men like Mr. Media. And if you see him, you should too. Today on Mr. Media, that's MRmedia.com, I'll talk to actor Keith Powell, who plays TGS writer Twofer on the NBC sitcom 30 Rock. Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media show right on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher is smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free app at www.stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. So much media. So little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. And Mr. Media is recorded live before every DJ who ever claimed to invented Two for Tuesdays, everybody, right here in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, yeah! Hey, no. yeah. Powell plays Twofer on the NBC sitcom 30 Rock. He's one of the comedy writers on TGS, the show within the show. His nickname refers to the position to his position on the staff. He's both a Harvard grad and a minority, hence a two-for-one hire for human resources. That said, however, Twofer gets no respect, no respect at all. Now, Powell himself, however, gets plenty of respect. He founded the Contemporary Stage Company in Wilmington, Delaware, and has produced, directed, or performed in plays starring Lynn Redgrave, Jasmine Guy, Keith David, and Sean Patrick Thomas. Actually, Powell's official website is pretty damn funny. So it, here's an excerpt from the landing page at powelltothepeople.net. My name is Keith Powell. I'm an actor, therefore I must have a website, because that's, what's import- that's what important actors have. And I'm important, I'm told. This site shall be an ode to all things me. See that picture on the right there? Me. Click on photos, lots of me. Bio, me, me, me. Videos, all things starring me. Contact, by email me, of course. If you see anyone else on this site, let them know. Let me know, because it should only be about me. Well, there's more, but you'll have to find it yourself. Don't miss the raging debate on his bio page, however, about whether his ass is tight or not. 30 Rock, which airs Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., is now in its fifth season of Tweaking the Peacock Network, and now its new owner, Cable Town. It's full of inside TV, media, and pop culture gags, and <laughs> who doesn't love that? Keith Powell, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you here. Hey. Uh, it's good to be here. Let's, let's get to the 30 Rock in a second, but first... I'm a degree away from Judge Judy. Is there any message you'd like me to pass on to her? <laughs> Are you seriously? I'm kind of obsessed with that woman, and I have to tell you, please let her know that uh, Tufer watches her faithfully every day, and everyone thinks that I'm saying that ironically, but I really, really mean it. I'm a big Judge Judy fan. I will I will pass it on. She and I actually share a literary agent, so if, if that's the message. Oh, that's well, what, yeah. That's she what reminds me. On. She reminds me of my grandmother. So I used to, you know, my grandmother was one of my parents, and hmm. I used to watch um, the show with my grandmother, and she said things that my grandmother used to say, and she has the man- mannerisms of my grandmother. So I think that that's the reason why I'm so obsessed with watching her so much. Interesting. So that's true. That's interesting. I thought maybe that was a, yeah. you know, sarcasm. Yeah, you know, a lot of people really think that I'm being sarcastic when I say that, but I really do love Judge Judy. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Well, now let's turn to to, to uh, 30 Rock. And I, I want to ask you, the guys in, in the, the TGS, uh, the writer's room, have a wonderfully nasty banter among them, sometimes very nasty. But yeah. what do you guys talk about off screen? <laughs> Well, um, you know, the thing of it is, first off, all of us are really, really good friends. Mm-hmm. You know, we've we've been together for like five years, um, so we're kind of like a family now. But the only difference is, like, between us and a family is we don't fight. Um, 
Um, <laughs> so I, I guess that uh, what we what do we talk about? We're all pretty big comedy nerds ourselves. So um, I think we just t- t- do a lot of talking about like pop culture and you know a show that was on last night or you know comedies that we really like. So you know we're we're all big nerds in real life. So <laughs> all right. And and who would be funnier, Keith Powell or Tufer? And I'm thinking by design, it's probably you. Uh, I think just by default, it's probably me. Though I'm not going to say that I'm any kind of major um, comedian. Um, I'm not a comedian at all. I'm, I'm just an actor. I think comedians are a lot more talented than <laughs> than uh, me. But. Um, uh, yeah, I, I would just call myself an actor, uh, but just just by design, I'd say I am. Um, <laughs> though I think that Tufer, I honestly do believe that Tufer has a, um, you know, has a um, has a s- sneaky side to him. I mean, you know, he has a he has a comedy side to him. Obviously, he has to have it, or he wouldn't have been hired on a comedy show as a head writer. So, we, we, you think that, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And, That's true. <laughs> and, and let me let me ask you this. I read a little bit from your website, which I enjoyed a lot. Now, if Tufer had his own website, what would we learn about it about him from it? <laughs> um, probably that Tufer used to be a doctor. That he had the great ambition to write the great American novel, but. Liz Lemon came in and asked him to write sketches about farting, um, <laughs> and that he's a that he's a frustrated musician. <laughs> Probably all those all, right. all those things. All right, I got one more two for question, and we'll move on from there. If you could spin sure. off two for and one other character from the show, who would it be? Who would that other uh, character be? And what would the show be called? <laughs> Uh, I really think that, um, you know, I, I think it would be interesting to see uh, the character of Jonathan, who plays Jack's assistant on that show, and Tufer being roommates like like uh, uh, Perfect Strangers and taking on Chicago um, uh, and the zany worlds. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. You know, I also think that it would be nice if Tufer, you know, started solving murders in the hope of, um, <laughs> in the hope of solving his wife's murder, and then he becomes a obsessive compulsive. I hear that wins you Emmys, and uh, <laughs> I think that Jonathan then could could start time traveling, hoping that each leap would be the leap home. I swear to God, I think folks, that would be he didn't a great tell show. me to ask him that question. It sounds like he was planning for it, though, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just... This is off the top of my head, man. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd watch, I'd watch that show. Um, I'd, I'd watch that show. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's going on with you for in the coming weeks? What, what's your character got ahead for him? Oh, well, tonight there's a really fun... Um, uh, episode with Tufer um, that uh, you know I, I, I don't I know if you guys know but Queen Latifah is going to be on our show tonight and Rob Reiner is going to be on our show and they're playing Senators and they come in to try to make TGS a little bit more diverse and um, Tufer gets thrown into the crosshairs of all that so there will be a fun little storyline with Tufer being diverse <laughs> um, for the for the for the, uh, for the good of TGS. Oh, that should be interesting. Uh, oh yeah, that's a really fun storyline. I, I, it's got one of my favorite scenes in it um, uh, that Thirty Rock has ever written. So I'm 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 pretty excited about it. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, folks, listen, you can see uh, Keith Powell every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Uh, in 30 Rock, now in its fifth season on NBC, and catch up on the shows you missed by ordering DVDs for the first four seasons, now available at a great price. Please, I need to pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> stay, Please. Stay 
need to catch up on well, those work, DVDs. Work, work on that spinoff. Talk to Tina later today. Uh, <laughs> you know, I am going to pitch that. I'm going to pitch that to her today. See what she thinks. Yeah, because I mean, a year from now, she could pull a Steve Carell, walk off the show, and you're like, "Hey, but how about that spinoff idea? At least I got somewhere to go." <laughs> and I go to NBC and be like, "You know, I've been thinking." <laughs> Strangers is an idea that needs to be capitalized. I don't know why people haven't tried to spin off Perfect Strangers before, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, Keith, Powell, it was a lot of fun to have you on, and thanks for being with us on Mr. Media today. Uh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right, come back and see us again soon. Bye bye. All right. And for more interviews with your favorite 30 Rock stars. Please surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, twitter.com slash Andelman, or on Facebook, just search Mr. Media Interviews. Thanks for joining us today. Always appreciate you uh, doing what you do, listening to us, tuning in. Come back and see us again real soon, everybody. Bye-bye.